This plan was derived from the national cultural policy that was launched last year. The Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, E.C. Henry Leonard, mentioned that in order for the policy to work and serve its purpose, the National Cultural Commission had to create a five-year strategic plan on how to roll out this policy. This cultural st strategic plan is the translation of the National Cultural Policy 2022 to 2032 into practical and implementable strategies and actions in regards to developing, to developing the arts and cultures of, the, of Papua New Guinea. And CC board member Janet Sears highlighted that the plan sets out clearly the targets and priority areas that NCC and its affiliated cultural institutes will implement in the next five years. Sears also explains why the commission has taken the approach to develop this strategic plan. The commission has now taken a strategic approach in aligning our plans and programs to the government's medium-term development plan for 2023 to 2027. Since arts and culture have been captured under the strategic economic investment of this MTDP4, National Culture Commission has taken the approach to develop programs, strategic programs to ensure cultural, creative and film industries contribute immensely to building a robust and resilient economy of our country in the future. And CC Executive Director Steven Kilander said it took two years for the Commission to develop the strategic plan and PNG is the first in the country to develop a cultural policy and plan. He revealed that NCC is a small government agency and funding is an issue for the organization. However, since culture is part of the government's agenda, they will continue to deliver to achieve the MTDP4. Gladys Killer.